Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm out standing in my field, literally. So this is going to be a new one for the channel. Wife and I, beginning in November 2021, purchased a piece of farm property, an acreage. No house on it, but it's what we wanted. So welcome to the very first farm vlog. Stay tuned because there's going to be a whole lot more. I will just put a little disclaimer in this video. A lot of stuff you see, we're in a transition period. We're lucky it hasn't already snowed in. People that are, were previous owners are still moving, so we're not going into buildings today and stuff, but you're going to get a walk around at least. So it's going to be a short video, but I got to give you guys something. Also, stay tuned for the iron update because, oh boy, I've been spending money again. So to start this off, the whole property itself is 12 to 14 acres of paperwork conflicts. Not my disc, but hoop building for hay. I forget the sizes on that. I think it's like 30 by 60. I could be wrong. And then we got, so the one building I will kind of show you guys in just a little because there's nothing really too worrying about what the previous owners have in here, but 30 by 40 machine shed. And uh, I'm just going to stop right there and you can uh, find out more on the iron update. Not my boat. We got a dog kennel building. Don't know what we're going to do with it, but might get sold. Might get turned into a chicken coop. Not sure. Not our dogs in there. Don't be hating. Not our thing. Older building. Was a chicken coop. Probably is going to, might become a chicken coop again. Might become a goat house. Might just become Colin's small toy storage. Got another building over here. I think this actually used to be kind of a small barn. And again, they have chicken stuff in it but we're thinking we're gonna turn this into a break area so that is my domain this is the wife's so i'm gonna try to coax the wife in on the channel here but she has not been on here yet but she does the horse thing i know i know what you're thinking all the people on here for tractor content what the hell she does the horse thing, I do the tractor thing. Our hobbies play off each other. It's kind of why we love each other. One of many. But I will show inside of this because I know if she found out I didn't, she'd probably be mad at me. But she now has a technically seven, but looks like an eight stall horse barn. And she already owns two horses, just waiting for the spring to bring them because we got to switch water over and do some stuff and again transition we everyone's playing nice so in the spring she's gonna have two horses in here and she's already trying to talk me into the third i don't know what i'm gonna do buy another tractor maybe we do have a deal where it's you know one to one that is not her horse it might end up being our horse but not our horse at this point even though she is a nice old girl 35 year old horse so now I'm going to attempt to get into the pasture without going end over tea kettle. So we actually got this property beginning of November. I'm going to go take a different route here. Like I think we closed November 1st. I think the week after, that first weekend I came out here at the 50 and the bush hog, did a whole bunch of mowing. Went to work the next week and then I got quarantined for two weeks and actually got sick with COVID. But it was perfectly fine. I basically had a scratchy throat for one day. So I spent like two weeks out here basically. I think I burned like two and a half gallons of fuel through my saw. And started cutting out fences. Because they are in need of some maintenancing. Okay, don't go end over tea kettle, Colin. Don't do it. Oh, oh. Well, that horse was clean literally yesterday. So, pasture number one. Fences need a, okay, they need some T major TLC because their horse, well, doesn't want out, so they never really worry too much about it. Pastures need, you know, some cleanup because there's bricks and things and, yeah, randomness. So we're going to meander down here. I'm going to try to not step on a pile of horse crap. So, I don't, she looks a lot better down here than I thought. Jeepers. I never stepped back to take a look at my own work. 
So the pastures that right now are cut in half, east and west is what we've been referring to them as. I want to say the field itself is about five and a half acres, so here's pasture. That's burn pile number two. There's one back there, two, three, and then the fourth is kind of hidden behind that tree right now, but we do have a creek going through here erosion prevention so that's kind of nice we won't have to worry about watering horses in the spring winter we're still gonna have to but we do have water out here we just have to do a little bit of splitting the meter off and some other random stuff so yeah and th that's the byproduct of uh getting quarantined the previous owners who are absolutely awesome great to work with they're actually kind of becoming our they're literally our neighbors now in two locations, which is kind of odd, but he had a skid loader here and basically told me, yeah, just use it. It's, it's already sold. So that was stacked up as high as I could get it. It looks smaller. Then I threw logs on it. Then I threw more brush on it. Then I dumped more stuff on top of it with a skid loader. So those two are going to wait till there's snow cover on the ground because, well, that one's probably a little closer than what I want it to be to the hoop. And I don't want to melt my hoop building. This one's just going to be a Viking funeral pyre. But I suppose the neighbors still kind of have me beat. Yeah, that's in the middle of the field. They grub that all out of a hoe. Got some foundation chunks down here too. So, yeah, okay. I just kind of walked the perimeter. Now I'm heading over to the east pasture. Which I'm probably going to have to attempt to cross barbed wire. So I'm probably going to cut this here and then get my less than slender butt over the fence and then i'll bring you guys back so okay i'll be back in a minute okay it's later like hours later but dog kennel building's now empty so that's ironic but whatever so this is pasture number two or the east pasture this one i actually got mowed down i was gonna mow everything but I hit a piece of woven wire fence somewhere in here, which I'm gra glad wife and I walked through here one day and run the dog around and she actually found it, which makes me happy because uh, put literally put tires on the 50 in August and like the first weekend in November, I shot wire through the sidewall of the tire. Then I also remembered, hey, ding dong, uh, back of the bush hog needs to be tipped back so it throws it backwards, not forwards, so. That was a learning experience, but this that's why this looks a little different and honestly a little better in my opinion, because it just got mowed down. Then it kind of got matted down and then it derechoed on it and all that goodness. So this pasture does not have water in it yet. I mean, the creek is actually on that side of the fence, but I'm thinking crazy idea and the wife is still kind of apprehensive i want to put a ram pump in because i think i have enough fall i could put a ram pump in put like a 250 gallon ibc tote here and then we could just lead the horses here and then you know the ram pump goes out i'd have 250 gallons of water i mean that could get us days with those with two horses and we're out here even right now without critters out here we're out here at least a couple times a week when as soon as the critters out here i assume we'll be here every day because it's literally two miles out of our way so, this fence, ironically, is cattle panels. That's nice. We're not going to mess with that one, except burning it and cutting trees. Lots and lots, lots of trees. Uh, the beginning of brush pile number, I think, like six. There, there's a few things thrown there, but that's a giant thorn bush, so we just set it right in the center of the pasture. Dead center. Not even joking. So, Thornbush is going to get killed with flames. So, yeah, this pasture, they honestly, I don't think they've had their horse in here for a while. So, it's a little rougher in places. It also is smoother in places, but the grass is also rather lush in here. So, I don't know what exactly we're going to do. I think we're going to end up just fixing the fence and uh, it's going to uh, just get used again. At some point, we're going to slowly start renovating pastures, but the field's a priority this year because that actually just has a cover crop in it. 
I'll talk squawk about that when I get up there. So I do have, it's probably a solid acre of cedar trees, which becomes a great pheasant hunting habitat until I invite people out to come and pheasant hunt it because the pheasants were literally trying to take my head off. Like, they'll just your bunk. Send people out here to go hunt them. They disappear. Crafty nature. So, yeah, that and then creek actually dumps into a rip. Bigger creek. Crick to creek, there you go. We'll, we'll go full Midwestern on ya. So, yeah. And if this ever comes up about cutting trees, don't even start with me, because this is Iowa. The trees I'm cutting are piss elms around, is what we call them around here. They are a damn invasive species. They are a woody weed that looks like a tree. You cut one down, it's like Medusa, four come back. Oh, yeah, this fence. Okay, hang on a minute. All right, my athletic self just levitated over the fence. So, so yeah, about an acre of cedar trees. Yes, that is a hat in the tree, don't ask me why. At some point either this is gonna get cleared or at the minimum it needs to get thinned out selectively with mechanical rippiness because it's, it's so thick you can't even walk through there. So this is the field in which I shall grow my four-letter expletive. I'm trying to be family friendly, friendly for now. So right now, this actually is millet. The gentleman, well, the family that we purchased this from, this has been in hay production for years. He custom hayed. So this is kind of his little test plot. And well, just what he grew for himself, but the alfalfa was done, done and over with. So, Yet, I didn't know this. I'm not a farmer. I turn wrenches, but I didn't know this, but you have to plant something different once you plant alfalfa. Otherwise, if you go alfalfa, alfalfa, it kills itself. Didn't know that. So, thus mill it, and that way you can disc it in and get it all back to what you need to. So we're actually going to have just straight grass put into this. Either I'll grab it with my little disc in the spring or I probably actually have I have so many neighbors that farm full time having them come in to do six acres it, it's literally a 30 pack and uh, by the time they can get the first one done they're pretty much done it don't take long until five acres when you have 253 and horse tractor so probably for this year on the uh, iron end of things I, I really wanted a 40 20 but uh due to covid and everything and just the way the world is, used equipment prices are ridiculous, so. Heart said 40-20, budget said not 40-20. So, eventually I will get one, but for right now I gotta stop gap, which even the wife is starting to turn into like, and I mean, it was on the ground for like two minutes after it got delivered and she was already on it, trying to figure out how to run it. I guess that's what happens when you marry a farm girl that grew up on grandpa's farm running old Massey's. So, yeah. This is the field. So, it'll be fun. We're going to farm this the 1950s way, and by that I mean I'm going to cut it and rake it, and then someone else is going to roll it up because I don't like idiot cubes. So, that's the very first farm vlog. I don't know when we're really going to get much more because... We're about to get snowed in here in Iowa, so indoor projects and, well, I'll get what I can get you. You can see here actually how far back I mowed when I came in here at the brush hog. I mean, just pushing back nature, stupid nature. So. Oh yeah, oh yeah, then there's a big pile of crap literally from cleaning out the barn. Giant pile of crap. Let's go, Brandon. Alrighty. Well, stay tuned for the iron update for all the for all the tractor folks. Thanks, guys. And remember, appropriate screwdriver for the job.